California is gearing up to ban the sale of new cars that run only on gasoline, and it's happening sooner than you might think. Despite criticism, many U.S. automakers seem to be gearing up for this change. In L.A., reporter Anser Hassan takes a look. At Walnut Creek Ford, the demand for the all-electric Mach-E can't keep up with supply, says General Manager Cameron Savarani. Uh, EVs have been very popular. Uh, it's made up about 40% of our sales this year, actually. And uh, when you include hybrids and plug-in hybrids, it's uh, over 50%. For buyers, reducing their environmental footprint, tax incentives, and the way it drives make this car a big hit. And starting in 2035, all new cars sold in California could be required to be zero emission vehicles like this one as well. Firm goal that by 2035, we will eliminate in the state of California the sales of internal combustion engines. We will move forward to green and decarbonize our vehicle fleet. That was Governor Gavin Newsom's commitment two years ago. On Thursday, the California Air Resources Board will vote on stringent new rules to ban the sale of new gasoline cars. It also set zero emission sales goals for new cars over the next 13 years. 35% of vehicles sold in the state by 2026, 68% by 2030. Governments around the world have set goals to phase out the sale of gas cars. But if passed, experts say California's new regulations could stand as one of the most important climate change policies in the world. California is also the largest auto market in the U.S., which could influence other states. If that group of states that tends to follow California's lead um, were to do so with this as well, it would be roughly 30 percent of the you know, population in the U.S. would now be living somewhere where there were biggest requirement. Critics argue that the proposal raises big concerns around issues like charging infrastructure, mineral availability, supply chain issues, and vehicle pricing. But Savarani says companies like Ford have already made headway with electric vehicles, and there's time for more change between now and 2035. And there's still a long time to, as I said, get the price point down, offer additional models to uh, address different um, you know, buying habits and, and things like that. So I, I think it's a realistic time frame. In Walnut Creek, Ansar Hassan, ABC 7 News.